I respect the fact that you believe what you believe. How come you don't respect the fact that I believe what I believe? Why, why the, why is it that since I believe something different that I have to be burnt up and die? Like, why is that? Who, who said that? Who you, said you, you are? You, All you got to do is change how you, how, how you thinking. <laughs> oh, that's it. Change how you thinking. You know what? Your, yeah, your, fuck your, this place. Your premise is hundreds of millions of people are going to die. It has to be done. That, so you're so we can rule and reign don't you want to rule and reign <laughs> i want to rule and reign so yeah it can't be two thrones at once you want to rule and reign yes what? in what way with, with my messiah and what do you want to do according to the scriptures i'm, I'm listening to you rule and righteousness and righteousness yeah. is the destruction of hundreds of millions of people Righteousness, yes that's part of it it's part of it it has to be bad before it can get good the greatest American alive. I mean, that since my first um show, that this is if you notice, I haven't changed. I didn't say that you did. So I, I don't know if you noticed, but I haven't changed either. Right. <laughs> I, I read the exact same book. Uh so how you white, not... white white supremacists read the exact same book, mm-hmm. you know? Uh uh Catholics read the exact same book and all and all these Billions of people who read the exact same book, they have a completely different understanding than you. I don't understand how you go to Jeremiah chapter five, verse one. It talks about Christmas, having a tree in your house, how how Israel is not supposed to do that. So you can read that same book. How can you interpret it any other way? It says, do not have a tree in your house. What is what's the significance of that? The significance of what? The things you're saying what's the significance of that how does, how does how does how does the person who live in 2023 relate to the things that you're saying like right now uh most people a lot there's a good percentage of the american population are completely turning away from any religious ideology because of this type of this type of rhetoric man the thing is doom, doom and gloom death and destruction it's not religious what i'm talking about is not religious people put that word on it i don't like christians I don't like Catholics. I don't like Baptists. I don't like Lutherans. I don't like whoever, ever. Just read the book, man. Just read. Fuck that religion. Throw that over here and just read the book. Oh, okay. I get it now. He said, don't do that. Because religion say, maybe I can do that and I can get away with it. That, that book says a lot of things. And a lot of the things that the book says, uh, if you were to do them today, it'd be illegal. Of course. Uh, okay. Of course, because we're not living in our land. See, again, this is, is only... This book is for one people. If, if you take that, if you take some of those things that are said in that book and you apply them to any civilization that's in that exists right now, you'd be doing illegal things. I understand. But I understand. If if a lot of those things, you'd be trampling on people's human rights just to do those things. What the same book they reading? The same. Maybe they should reading. get down or lay down. To whom and for what reason? To whom? Just the the I mean, Lord. I mean, historically. For what reason? Because it's his his will. The will of, like I read the same Bible. I don't the, the God that you're speaking of. I don't know that. I don't know that. Person. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. <laughs> the God of Israel. How many times does the word the Lord, the God of Israel, appear? The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's that's who I'm reading. That book, the same book, is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You can go to these 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 uh, churches. They're gonna tell you. Yes, the book is God of Abraham, Isaac. It didn't say the God of the Egyptians. It didn't say the God of the Moabites or the God of the the, the Amalekites. It said the God of Israel. Who is Israel? I think that faith is good. I think that it serves a purpose for our nation and our society. But then when you just when you just really break it down, that's because you got to do that. Okay, so when you break it down. Uh, the first five books of the Bible, Genesis, Exodus, Numbers, Leviticus, and Deuteronomy, that, that was... the, fir- the first five <laughs> books of the Bible were written by Moses, and Moses lived in the height of the Egyptian empire, and somehow he knows the entire history of the entire world. He knew about his great, 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 great grandfather. Yeah, he was able to tell stories based on divine intervention about the whole history of the world, and we take that as absolute fact. That's an interesting position to take. And I don't even want to take that position, but that's an interesting position to take. Can I, can I, can I you call can. the scripture? You sure, are you sure you can? But the thing that you're about to do is you're about to read from a book that I know was handwritten by like 40 something individuals 
in the text Mosaic Law, the first five books were written by one guy who was raised at the height of the Egyptian Empire, and Egypt was the superpower at the time. Mm -hmm. And so you're about to tell me whatever you want to tell me, but that's your reference point. Okay, you ready? ready? Go ahead. Go ahead. So, yes. How do you learn anything from a book? Most that's, likely. That's, that's not necessarily true. I learned most things that I learned, I learned from life experience. Uh, and a book. Uh, most things I learned from life experience. And, and, if you, and if you go based on the history of the world, most things that people learn from was from through uh, told stories. Right. Word of mouth. They didn't have access to, to literature. What, pens and papers? Yes. It was, all, it, was, it was a whole bunch of stuff documented. Just for, okay. even, even, right, even right now, the way that we are able to communicate, mm -hmm. just to communicate in our society, you need like at least a $100 phone just to participate in the game. Uh, pens and paper, uh, the literacy rate is a, people being able to read is a very modern uh, thing. Right. I'm just saying. So. I mean, I can, I can go to the, but it's faster on the phone. No, I'm, I'm, all I'm, no, is, I'm, I'm just saying <laughs> that having pens and paper was a luxury. Mm. For, for, for the for the majority of the world, mm. and so I'm just where stories are passed down. We listen to the stories. The stories are supposed to help us improve our society. Uh, stories of doom and gloom. They talk about events that happened, and we're supposed to learn from these stories so that we can grow our society. I'm not supposed to look at a story of war and then perpetuate that war on my culture. Exodus that, chapter that, fifteen that, and three. The Lord is a man of war. He's about <laughs> war. He's a man of, if you of that, if you're of that, oh that means you you with that. So he's a man of war. I, I have to understand that right now in 2023, I live in the most powerful uh, nation in the whole history of existence. We have the most powerful weapons in the whole history of existence. And you're talking about defeating that thing. And that's a very interesting concept. I'm not talking, well, I'm, I'm agreeing with defeating that thing because the scriptures say the most have declared the beginning from the end. So, we just live and in. So when you have a conversation with a person who's not, is there any other reference point besides that one book that you have to to defend your position? Like you, you don't have any life experience to be able to articulate like how like uh, just your existence, bro. Like the things that you experience and encounter, the people that you meet, do they do they matter? You know, like your birthplace. Does any of this stuff matter? Like this is all this is all real. This isn't. This isn't based on an idea or a thought. Like, this is a tangible reality. I really do live in America. I really do live in Houston. Carnally, it like, matters. Like, Spiritually, it, no, it don't matter. Like, I, I've, nev I've never been to, to Israel, mm -hmm. right? Like, can you, can you name a person in your family who's ever been to Israel? No, no, no. We've never been to Israel. We just understand there's people over there in Israel claiming to be some people that they're not. And you, you know and understand this how? Through history and through facts and through their own mouths. What did they say? I mean, you got you got so-called white people, aka let's just say Edomites, because Edomites come in all different shades of colors, right? Because yeah, we all it, it is all a big mix-up. We all doing this, but okay. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's just for the people that you know, because I I don't understand. Oh, I keep saying so-called white man. people, but guess what? It's not about white or it's not about black. It's about your nationality. You know what I mean? So I'm going to say Edomites, a.k.a. so-called white people, whatever color they are. You know what I mean? Because you got dark-skinned people that's actually the other nations. Look like us, but it's not us. But anyway, <laughs> so, yeah, you got people over there claiming to be us, and they're not. The scriptures don't say nothing about Jewish people, Israelis. It says Jew and Israelite. So why would you call yourself them? I'm just, hey, I'm just listening to you because... For me, I have to focus on where I'm at. I have to be of service to the people around me. And hey, I live in America. I'm an American citizen. I'm so thankful for my family. I'm so thankful for my friends. I'm so thankful for the opportunity to be able to have this, uh, to be able to speak to you. I'm so thankful for this channel. And, and to have that type of freedom, it's important to me. I'm not saying that I'm not happy for family, friends, to be alive. I'm just saying the shit that's going on around me. You got to you got to you got to pay attention yeah, to yeah, stuff I because why that. are we even over here? It's an identity crisis. You it's know what I'm saying? It's an identity crisis for you to be in America. It's an identity crisis for somebody to claim me and is not. What do you mean? How do you mean? Again, I don't know if you really want to go into that. You, know, you the, can go the, wherever uh, you want to go. I'm okay. just listening to you. You, you go it, ahead. It, 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 you, you haven't seen um, 
uh, Hebrews the Negroes or the Negroes the Hebrew, however. No. Right. So, I mean, it, it, it's, it's stuff out here to prove certain points that may, uh, uh, um, that I'm explaining. You know what I mean? No? Yay? I'm just, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so, again, Jewish, I-S-H, means pertaining to, being like, but not it. Why would you call yourself Jewish? Why not just call yourself Jew, right? Israeli, just like an American. That just means you just live over there. That don't mean you come from the person himself because your nationality <laughs> determines your lineage. What man did you come from? Because that's what the scriptures talk about. He begot him. That's why you ever, you ever uh, noticed that um, it says such and such begot such and such. We didn't have last names and shit. It was, it was such and such the son of, the daughter <laughs> of, you know what I'm saying? So somebody came and changed that. No, 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 no. Like, uh, I'm, I'm laughing because I believe in the spirit of collaboration. And I, I don't even, like, I'm, I'm excited that you're excited about what you believe. But I, don't, to be but, but I don't believe the same thing. And it's we're not meeting in a spirit of collaboration. I'm just, you're just using this thing, uh, this book and these ideas, and you're saying that you're right. And then this is going I'm not saying I'm right. Yes, I said the are. book is right. Yeah, you're saying the you're saying this thing is right. The and same thing that you read. I, we must read it for very different reasons. What does Genesis one and one say? <laughs> a book written by a guy who was living in the height of the Egyptian Empire. Okay. And he's talking about the beginning of the world. If I can get that scripture I was talking uh, you, about. You go ahead and read it. Second Timothy three and sixteen. All scripture is given for imp inspiration of God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay. And it's profitable for doctrine, we'll say for reproof, for correction, and instruction in righteousness. The only Not thing, wickedness. When, when, I'm sorry for interrupting. No, you, go ahead. But when you read scripture, the only people you're talking to are the people who believe the thing that you're saying. I'm talking like, to the Hebrew Israelites. Wherever they may be and wh wherever they may look like, because he did scatter us, you know, in the, in the four corners of the earth. So, yeah, you got Israelites, you got Negroes, Hispanics, and they, they look like these other nations. Right, 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 right. 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 And so, so the scriptures that we just don't want to acknowledge for some reason, it's profitable for doctrine. It's for correction. Didn't it say correct your child if, if he, you know, if they're in the wrong? You can correct. Okay, this is how you're supposed to do things. You have to forgive me. I'm really at a loss for words. So I'm just like. <laughs> hey, it's, it's okay. So. I got the floor, right? Go ahead. So, so you, you get lost, right? <laughs> so again, racism I, I don't is mean, all good. I don't, I don't mean to offend you or anything. You're not. You, you, I'm not. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm not offended. <laughs> you said get lost. I'm like, okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I, I, I didn't mean that towards you. No, no, I'm get like, lost. Like, get lost. No, I'm just saying. No, you said you was at a loss for words. Yeah, yeah. I'm right. Not, but it's because... You're not, I don't think you're meeting me in good faith. Like, I completely understand your reference points, but you're not even trying to understand my reference points. I'm, I would like to have a conversation about our, our lived experiences. Like, the, the thing that using scripture to defend your position, and I do not agree with the, the interpretation of the passage, like, that's, that's, how, that's how people are, are, are scattered right now. The, that book was from my interpretation is supposed to be used as a tool to help people. And for some reason, people have used that book as a tool to hurt lots of people. And that's a very scary thing. Everybody don't shop at the same store. I don't think that they do. Everybody didn't go get the scriptures, but everyone's going to the store to sustain themselves. I think the majority of people who go to that book, they're looking for some, some type of nourishment. They're trying to be connected to their creator. And I don't think that very many people who read that book are going to that book looking for keys of destruction to say that one day I'm going to be the sitting next to the king so we can destroy the world. And if that's what you're looking for through that book, I mean, that's why I'm at a loss for words. Okay. And, and I like and, and I know because I was just listening to you get your scriptures off, you felt like you were dunking on me. But you're not really dunking on me. I just disagree. I'm not saying I'm not saying that I'm done. I, I, but, but I, I at feel, the end I of the feel day, what you're saying, like you think you're scoring points, but it, just, it, it only works for the people who agree. 
And I'm trying to work in the spirit of collaboration because I see so much chaos. You're trying to collaborate with other nations. I'm not, I'm trying to collaborate with my people. So. Fuck these so, other so nations I of want, people. I want my children to be able to grow up in a world where they can be young men who raise families and have the ability to have a, a, a nice life, right? I want them right. to be financially stable. I want them to be safe. I want them to have grandchildren. I want them to live full and sustainable lives. And not only do I want that for my children, but I want that for everyone else's children. See, I, see I, how you, you conclude in everybody else's? Yes, yes, yes. I want that no, for no, my no, people no, no, because, and their children. Because I have, you have to understand, my children live in the United States of America. Mm -hmm. And so I don't want any message of hate to surround my children. I don't want my children to grow up in a war zone. I don't want my children to grow up in war at all. I want my children to enjoy the exact same fruits that I've enjoyed which was a peaceful land with the, un with the opportunity to, uh, to have an occupation, with the opportunity to have a family. Like, the government ain't going to listen to you because they've been destroying <laughs> families for the longest, right? Like, like all this stuff, I understand. I want that too, but it ain't going to happen here. It ain't going to happen but here. It, but it has happened. M great men throughout all of American history have stood up to defend free people. Mm-hmm. And, and, and so, so even even the great Martin Luther King, I say the great Martin Luther King, he was a man, but he held that same book, and he was able to lead people. All I said is a fact. He he was Doctor Martin Luther King. He was a pastor uh, for a church, or he was a pastor. I don't know if he who, had a home who ordained church. him. Somebody had to ordain him to be a pastor. He was a pastor. Somebody <laughs> had to say, "Okay, you're a pastor now." Somebody had this, uh, and so this gentleman held that exact same book, and he was able he was able to to move a nation or to move a people. We still speak about this man today, yeah. and so every human person has the capacity to do to be powerful if you choose to just do the work and to be of service to the people around you. What was his dream that he had? That everybody seen Kumbaya get along. We live in the most most powerful, peaceful society in the history of the world. Now, was that your answer to what I just asked? Yes. That's my specific answer. I don't think that his, his I have a dream speech was the death and destruction of hundreds of millions of people. But he did come back later and said, I think I, and then he said, I led my people yes. in a burning house. He didn't say he led everybody. He said my people. So even he understood my people, right? Now, you know, the scriptures talk about people that have <laughs> dreams, right? Beware of people that have dreams. Because hey, if they're not the dreams of the Heavenly Father, I, then it's wrong. And obviously his was too. His dream that Kumbaya and with everybody was wrong too. I don't think he did hard work and the work that he did improved the quality of life for all people. Mm -hmm. And we have statues and monuments and this guy has a day because of the work that he did. What about he, Nat he, Turner? Talk about him more. What was his what was his what was his uh, idea? Cause he understood some shit too. And that's why he flipped out, but he didn't have patience. He was a person who was a slave who wanted to be free. Mm -hmm. And so when we we're facing economic oppression right now and we don't have the ability to sustain ourselves through occupation, then that's when you when when working people come together in a collaborative effort and we and we reform labor laws. So that we can be free people in a free society. You're not free in this society because this society is ran by some people that obviously got a foothold on people like us who think they're free. We still, we still are under a society of a of an oppressor. Just because we can go outside and do this and do that and do this and do that and do this, we're still under the rule and laws of some people that took this land from another people. I completely understand and agree with what you're saying so it shouldn't be no but after that because when you say but that means everything else before is out the window so what i can speak and clarify my point <laughs> in a way i don't i don't have to qualify because people have been able to everything that you said people have already done it and so when i look at slavery no uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry go ahead go ahead go ahead when i look at slavery these people were actually in bondage and they were able to uh, to have hope and faith that one day that bondage would end, but they had hard work, grueling days, but eventually uh, that that bondage ended. And so now, and so now, when the shackles are off, and hundreds of years later, for now me it's to, mental though. Yes, you're absolutely right. Our greatest oppressor right now is our own minds.
I say 50 50. And here, here's why. Because, yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> if, right. If but I, it was if, still instilled. If I'm a free person with free hands and instead of saying that I have the opportunity to go and change uh, the world, that I, the, just my surrounding area and to impact this place in a positive way, if I don't understand that and do the, and do the work to accomplish that, then I chose not to. I didn't have the right thoughts. I didn't have the right actions. I, I believe the wrong thing. I believe in helping people. I believe in being a service. I think that men are supposed to help people be of service, work together to accomplish a very specific goal. And that's improving the quality of life for the people that live around us in this very specific geographical location. Now, in the meantime, in between time, the scriptures say, yes, be at peace with all men if possible. So, yeah, I am at peace. I'm not just going out here mean mugging people or whatever. I do business with people. But if somebody asks me the, the end game, I'm going to go right to the scriptures because the scriptures provide the end game. You can use, I could. <laughs> and I can look at the news and say, yep, it's right. Hey, They're doing just what the scriptures it, it, say. It's so fascinating because any part, like you, it's, it's so easy to go into that, to that book. And it you, should and, be and easy. You, you can pick things and you can make it say whatever you want. No, so, I'm not. Uh, you, it, Cause you can read it for hey, yourself. Pastors do it every day. Other, yep. other religions do it every day. They take that text and they just, so However what, they want it. What did they the scriptures say? They want it to be. What did the scriptures say about people like them? It's based on your interpretation. When, like, what me, did the me, scriptures me, say me, about me, people like them? I want to pivot. I can mm -hmm. I can read the alchemist and you can read the alchemist and we can have two very different uh, points on that same exact book. Like it's just our own. What, it's it's everything in life is based on my reference point and how I'm able to enter, uh, uh, receive that information. And so based on my life experiences, when I read the alchemist, it's it's triggering things from my my, my life. And when you read the Alchemist, it's triggering things from your life. It's the exact same book based based on my frame of reference is how I'm going to perceive the information. Mm hmm. So that that's a that's a for, <laughs> that's a <for> real fact. <laughs> so like I understand basically whatever your interpretation of that text is, I hear you. It's not my interpretation. It, who, it, it who says else, what who it else says. Is saying it. Like, the Lord, when it said, thus said the Lord, it said, thus said the Lord, not thus said Isaiah or thus said, oh, it said, boy. thus said the Lord. So the Lord is, is, is talking. Ultimately. Division is bad. Division is good. Unity is wonderful. Of course. We're working together in a collaborative effort to do wonderful things is my goal. That's my mission. That's my ambition. I think that people should have the ability to believe whatever they want to believe. And, um, I think that's that's wonderful. So if I believe I'm a cabbage, that's that that'd really be okay. I would laugh. And like, why would you laugh? Because I'm you, being so serious that I'm a cabbage. Because it's funny. It's funny. <laughs> it's because it's funny because it's stupid. <laughs> no goddamn cabbage. I'm a human being. You know what I'm saying? You are a human being that lives in Houston, Texas, in the United States of America. Yes. That is who you are, and that's where you are. That's not who I am. I am a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah that just so happens I'm Pro in America. Prove it. Prove it? Prove it. Um, you could take a look at all these, these slavery movies. Um, you can take a look at actual documents that, that says that these Negroes are from the, the Judea, the Ju uh, um, Judah, basically. I mean, you can look this stuff up. Look it up. I Type in Google. I can look it up to see where you are and where you're from. I mean, currently, <laughs> yeah, you can. And it's not just me individual. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a group thing. It's a, na it's a, na your nation. I hear this you. nation, our nation came over here and the scriptures explain it. So just because we don't use the names of the scriptures no more, that's why I always tell people the Bible talks about characteristics of people, places, and, and situations. So you can kind of like, oh, okay, them, them people. Because even uh, people over there and overseas go by their biblical names, the Moab. Where you find that at? <laughs> um, um, Ishmael. Them Arabs know that they, 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 they father come from Ishmael. I don't... But, but where you find these stories at? The Bible. Um, hey, I I appreciate your enthusiasm. I appreciate your passion. I I appreciate you articulating your position, and I hope that uh, you all thoroughly enjoyed this conversation. Well, so I always do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, because it, again, at the end of the day, we'll see who's right because this prophecy is unfolding, and 
We just gonna have to ride this thing out. <laughs> <laughs> what? Shit. Seriously. I'm gonna have to ride it out. Be like, oh, okay. Nah, I mean, I'm I'm laughing and I'm because I'm just thinking about so I'm just I'm just thinking about the the connection, the communication, and uh, how this is going to hit and land. That's probably it's probably so clunky. It's just hilarious. Oh well, I mean it's all it's good. Hey, <laughs> it's for the people that get it. If the people don't get it, to hell with them. Because even the Bible don't want everybody to get it. Uh, the, the scriptures work with yeah, a certain sector of people. The people, the people who believe what you believe, they're gonna think I'm so mean. I'm just like man. Uh, he's the nice, nice. Hey, he's he's for America, so he's the nice guy. <laughs> You know, he, he's a, he's you know. I'm for the greatest Roman alive. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, and, and you, you say this right, and that makes me laugh because uh, one of the most the key contributors of that thing was a Roman citizen. <laughs> Roman citizen. He was a uh, Roman citizen. Uh, what was yeah, his nationality? He wrote. He wrote most. He wrote most of that book. Hey, the man. The man who wrote uh, the most of the New Testament. He was walking around. Paul? He was walking around slaughtering people as a Roman citizen. Fascinating, right? Mm -hmm. Un understanding what the thing is and who the people are. That's a very fascinating. It's thing. a it's a it's a must oh, okay. to understand uh, who you are. Because if you don't know who you are, you don't know where you at, and you don't know where you're going. A soldier running around killing people. The, the the two the two key contributors to this text are a soldier running around killing people and a man who lived in the height of the Egyptian Empire. Until uh, that's, what that's happened? Fascinating. Un until uh, it was a it was a it was a breaking point where it said, the Lord said, "Okay, boom, stop doing that," or "Boom, come over here now." Hey, can you imagine a person right now? Just just a person, any person who uh, was at Harvard. They went to Harvard, and after they came back from Harvard, they said that they know the whole history of the world. Everything that we know right now is completely wrong. I know the the origins of the whole history of the world. Let me tell you. So that's the part that you don't like. <laughs> that's the that's. That's the whole basis of the, the, the scripture. So are we going, we, we, you just stuck on Genesis? Or are you going to... I mean, I'm saying the whole, everything is based on the first five books of the Bible. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.